Measure the sheet thickness, in this case 10 mm. Select the appropriate nozzle for the torch and gas type. Then determine the required operating pressures depending on the thickness of the workpiece. Make sure that the information on the nozzle matches your selection. Type of nozzle, manufacturer, cutting range and oxygen pressure are indicated on the nozzle. A mixed connection is not permitted. Remove the protective caps of the gas cylinders with a suitable tool. Remove possible pollutants from the oxygen cylinder valve outlet by shortly opening and closing the valve. Install a cylinder pressure regulator suitable for gas type, gas pressure and gas quantity according to the manufacturer's specifications. Acetylene regulators are supplied with a clamp connection that must be hand tightened. Before opening the cylinder valve, make sure that the shut off valve is closed and the cylinder pressure regulator is released. The adjusting handle must be completely screwed back. Install a cylinder pressure regulator suitable for gas type, gas pressure and gas quantity according to the manufacturer's specifications. The 300 bar version shown here is sealed by an O-ring, so you only have to tighten the knurled screw by hand. The use of tools is not necessary. Install a safety device suitable for gas type, gas pressure and gas quantity in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. Next, the hose is mounted according to the type of gas and the amount of gas. Make sure that the hose is in perfect condition and that it is not damaged, especially on the sealing surfaces. Carry out the same sequence for the oxygen pressure regulator. Tighten all fittings gas tight with the appropriate tool. The fittings for fuel gas are with left hand thread. Open the cylinder valve as slowly and carefully as possible to avoid a pressure surge. Set the required working pressure according to the cutting table by turning the adjusting handle on the cylinder pressure regulator. Open the shut-off valve. Carry out the same sequence for the oxygen pressure regulator.
check all screw connections for tightness use an approved leak detection spray. In the event of a leak, bubbles form. Remove the leak by retightening the screw connection. Spray the connection again and check if there are no more bubbles. First, open the oxygen valve, then the fuel gas valve. Ignite the torch with an approved lighter. Adjust the flame with the adjusting valves one after the other until the oxygen valve is completely open. The setting of the neutral flame is carried out via the fuel gas. Check the neutral flame in cutting mode by actuating the cutting oxygen lever. If necessary, readjust the flame via the fuel gas valve. Cut your workpiece by operating the cutting oxygen lever. To switch off the torch, first close the fuel gas valve, then the oxygen valve. Close the cylinder valves. Relax the system by first opening the fuel gas valve and then the oxygen valve on the torch. Close the shut-off valve. Relax the cylinder pressure regulator by unscrewing the adjusting screw. Carry out the same sequence for the oxygen pressure regulator. Disassemble the hose and safety device in reverse order to the assembly shown. Carry out the same sequence for the oxygen pressure regulator. No tools are required to loosen the screw for 300 bar cylinders. The prerequisite for loosening, however, is that there is no more pressure. Mount the protective cap of the gas cylinder. and tighten them with suitable tools. Also remove the acetylene pressure regulator by loosening the screw on the bracket. Mount the protective cap of the gas cylinder.
and tighten them with suitable tools.